Hello everybody, my name is David and I am going to show you how to implement OAuth 2 in Python given that you have client credentials. So that's your client ID and client secret. So looking at the actual workflow, we have business client, OAuth server and resource server. And these two servers are actually what we have to make requests to. So there are two requests that we make and essentially we are the business clients. So, so the first thing that we do is make a request to the OAuth server to get the access token, which then we can use the access token to make a second request to the resource server and get back any details that we want or you know, push any details that we want to the server. And so to the left here, we have an implementation of that structure. And so again, this is like the business client part of it. So what we have here is a client ID and a client secret, which are the two main things that we need to make a request. Um, and these store things comes from like the store client, which is a class in Python. Um, and essentially you can replace this with any string that you want. Uh, so that's the same thing here for client secret. Um, yeah, so you can do it like that. Uh, but the main thing that we're going to talk about is this piece of code, which deals with uh, this first section, this first request part of this workflow. And as you can see, what we need to have is this token URL, which basically is the, is the pathway to the server, pretty much, um, on the World Wide Web. And in our data, we need to specify uh, the grant type of client credentials and provide a scope of OAPI. And this scope might be different um, depending on your actual application that you're trying to connect to. Uh, for me though, uh, in the loop services API, which is the app that I'm trying to connect to, it has OAPI as your scope. And also um, that's where I also get the uh, access token URL, which is the same one here. And then I would make the request and you want to take note that in the request I put this auth equals the client ID and client secret and pretty much that's it and so then you can get the access token and token type and token type would just be like bearer or whatever usually it's bearer um, but then you can make the request and here's what I'll do though I'll actually provide an example of what the response would actually look like so give me just a moment. So this is what a response would look like from doing this request and it should generally follow the same structure but essentially uh, the response I turn that into a JSON object well it becomes a dictionary essentially and then um, I just key that dictionary the access token Part of it and I can get the access token which I just put a jumble of letters in and the token type here is of course bearer now onto actually making the request again it's specific to whatever application that you're trying to connect but essentially the URL is just as a URL could be um, or headers you want your headers authorization to be the token type plus space plus also or uh, plus access key because what this would look like is bearer and then so 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 forth or whatever right um, and that would be in replacement for this whole text and then that's it pretty much this response does the request and you would get your payload of data yep so that's pretty much the whole process. Hopefully you found this 
uh, hopefully you found this somewhat useful and um, yeah